All the Mods 8 is the 1.19 version of All the Mods. Basically, every time a new Minecraft version comes out, All the Mods releases a new version. And luckily, you can go back and play these versions at any time because they're all a bit unique in their own way. With All the Mods 8, it really and truly focused on making things just look incredible. I mean, look at this. This is truly amazing what this pack looks like, the different biomes it adds, the different structures, the mini-map, all of that stuff. It's got so many mods, it's hard to actually keep up. I mean, it's called All the Mods for a reason. So, how do you get All the Mods 8 in Minecraft? Well, in order to do that, you're going to want the CurseForge Launcher. To download the CurseForge Launcher, you're going to want to go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our complete text guide on getting CurseForge, but we're going to be covering everything in this video as well, so don't worry too much about it. Just once you're here, click on the Download CurseForge button to be taken to the official CurseForge download page. Once you're here, you want to click on the Download Stand Alone button to start Start downloading CurseForge right away. And while this is downloading, how to mention our company, Simple Game Hosting. You can check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start a Minecraft server and begin playing all the mods 8 with your friends quickly and easily. Literally, once you've got your server, you just click on Mod Packs in the control panel, select all the mods 8, click install, and you're done. It's installed on the server. You then just take the IP address and join it like you would any other Minecraft server. Just make sure you've got all the mods 8 installed when you're joining the server. Your friends can join the same way and you're playing all the mods 8 together. Now, we don't just support all the mods 8 at Simple Game Hosting. We support tons of other mod packs, and you can switch to those mod packs if you want to, should you get bored with all the mods 8. We also support plugins, individual mods, and even vanilla servers, so the options are truly endless. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start playing all the mods 8 with your friends the simple way. CurseForge is now downloaded. We can go ahead and minimize our browser, and it's gonna be located in your downloads folder. I'd recommend moving this to your desktop, but you don't have to. Double click on the CurseForge Windows installer that you downloaded. It's then going to open up the CurseForge installer just like this, where you want to click on Next, click on I have read and agree to the terms of service here, click on Next again, and now CurseForge will install. It is literally that easy to get CurseForge up and running. Just click next a few times, accept the terms, and boom, CurseForge will install and open up right like so. Once it's open, what we want to do is click on Minecraft here. It's grayed out right now. That's because we've not set up CurseForge for it yet. Let's go ahead and click on Minecraft. Just click on Standard Recommended here and click Continue. It's now going to get everything ready, and we can get all the mods 8 installed by coming up here to the top and searching for, well, all the mods 8. Alternatively, you could just type in ATM8 and, and it would pull it up as well but here it is all the mods 8 just go ahead and hover over this and click on that install button all the mods 8 will then begin installing if you click back here it'll now be in your my mod pack section and you can watch it be installed from here it's gonna take a minute all the mods 8 is massive and it's one of the bigger mod packs out there so keep that in mind it's gonna take a while to do everything it's gonna take a while to download it's gonna take a while the first time it launches it's gonna take a while to join the first world all that stuff is perfectly normal so I'm just gonna go ahead let this download and I will see you once it's finished and with all the mods 8 finished downloading we can hover over it and there's a play button Click on that play button and the Minecraft launcher is going to open. Now you'll need to log into the Minecraft launcher and this is the same Minecraft launcher you use to play vanilla Minecraft so it's completely safe to do that. Literally just log into your Minecraft account. And then once you've logged in, you'll have all the mods 8 here. Now you can click play and click play again but occasionally it'll crash or it won't open or you'll have random lagging when you get in game and that can be because you don't have enough RAM dedicated. To fix that, go to installations at the top and make sure modded is checked in the top right then hover over all the mods 8. Click the three dots and click edit. Then you want to go ahead and click more options. Here at the beginning is how much RAM is dedicated to all the mods 8 in megabytes. So if you go here and you do 8,208 megabytes, that's roughly 8 gigabytes of RAM dedicated. You could also do less, but I wouldn't recommend it. Somewhere between 6 to 10 gigabytes is probably where the sweet spot is for all the mods 8. You can also change your resolution and then click save. Now we can come back and make sure all the mods 8 is selected here and click play. All the mods 8 will now open. This will take a while, a long while. It can take 20 minutes, I've seen sometimes, for mod packs to open up. So just sit back and wait. It's also not uncommon for the Minecraft launcher to close, and it looks like nothing's happening. So the Minecraft launcher will close, and no mod pack will be seen until it is. It'll take a few minutes, but then eventually, boom, Minecraft opens up, and you're good to go. It starts playing. As you can see, nothing is opening right now. It doesn't look like anything's happening, but something is happening. And eventually, all the mods 8 will open and start opening itself up, or should I say Minecraft will start opening itself up with all the mods 8. So we're just going to sit back, relax, and I'll see you in probably about 5 to 10 minutes to finish getting this mod pack 
set up and running. There it is. See, it finally came around. So once all the mods 8 is open, it's kind of like playing Minecraft normally. You can jump into single player, you can jump into multiplayer, and while all the mods 8 was getting set up, I started a server with simple game hosting just to show you it's super simple once your server is set up to join it. Well, you just get all the mods out like we just did and you double click on that. Now, when joining a modded server for the first time, it is going to take a little longer, especially than like a vanilla server, because right now it's checking to make sure over 300 mods are on both sides. And they are, but it takes a minute. So you've got to kind of sit back and let that happen. And then it's also not uncommon for this to happen just generally with modded Minecraft, where uh, things go not responding. It looks crazy, it looks scary, but I promise it's perfectly normal. 300 mods is a ton, but eventually you'll load right on in, right like so. So there you have it. That's how you can get all the mods 8 up and running and join a simple game hosting server with all the mods 8 installed. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it did help you get this amazing mod pack. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.